So today I'm going to be showing you how to add a lot of the finer details and finishing touches when you're making a felted dog. So this is a custom made felting dog I'm making and as you can see I've made the body and the head and the back legs out of core wool so I've made the basic structure and then the legs I have um, made out of the ginger wool which is the colour of the dog. So next I am just going to blend my white and my ginger wool together to just create the right colour ginger that I need for the rest of the dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all that core white wool with a layer of the ginger wool and the best thing to do is look what the main colour of the dog is that you're felting and then use that as a base colour. So now I've blended that together I'm just going to use this wool to cover all the white sections on the dog as I previously mentioned. So I'm just felting that on now. And now I'm just felting it onto the head as well. So now I've done that, the dog is fully covered with the ginger wool. So the next thing to do is to felt the tail onto the dog. And I've already made this out of the same ginger wool. And it I made the tail into like an oblong shape. And now you just need to felt that on. And it's best to do this after you've already covered the dog with the ginger wool. So now that is fully attached, it looks something like this. And I always bend the tail around to the left of the dog if you're looking at the dog from behind. And now I'm just going to felt the ears on. So I'm going to show you the process of making the ears. So I've got that ginger wool. And then I'm just felting it flat and as I felt it I'm going to pinch one end and that just gives the ear the point. But obviously it depends what sort of ears the dog has that you're felting. And then I will also leave the fibres loose at the other end of the ear so this will allow me to attach it onto the dog's head. And then once that is done, I'm just going to felt this upright on the dog's head. So I'm going to have it sticking up. But this dog actually has uh, ears which are floppy rather than sticking up. So what I will then do is once I've felted this like that, I will then bend over the ear and felt it pointing downwards. So here is what it should look like. And then you just need to repeat that again for the other ear so it looks something like this. And now I'm going to felt the nose of the dog on. So I'm going to use some black wool. And then I just felt that straight on to the end of the nose. Just like this. And just make sure that that's nice and secure. The next step is to sew the eyes on. So I'm going to be using 5mm plastic beads. But sometimes I use slightly smaller ones. It just depends on how big the dog's eyes look. And I just sew that a few times. Uh, connecting the eyes together just to make sure they're nice and secure. And then with those ends of the thread I'm just going to tie them and I felt them into the dog and then this is what it should look like. And what I also sometimes do which I'm going to do now is I felt a small amount of black wool around the edge of each eye and this can help to make the eye look slightly bigger if you feel that it needs to be a little bit bigger. So the last thing to do is just to add the fur onto the dog. So 
This dog has got quite fluffy fur, which is why I'm doing this. If the dog has quite short fur, I don't normally do this section. So the dog has a white patch on its chest. So I'm just getting a section of my white wool. I have folded it in half and now I'm just felting that onto the dog. And I do have a tutorial on how to do fur. So I'll link that in the description box below if you need a more <coughs> detailed tutorial so I'm just attaching that and then once I'm happy that it's fully secure I will just use some scissors to cut that section of wool to give me the desired length of fur and then after that I will repeat this process um, to cover the whole body in the fur and I will adjust the colour of the wool accordingly depending on what colour I want the fur to be. So this is the finished dog and as you can see I have actually not put any long fur directly all over the face I've just added it to where I felt like it needed to go but if you do have any questions about the process of making this dog or anything else just leave the questions in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe.